And come on, Ed, it's bull crap. Now, don't get me wrong, I love the ladies. I mean, they rev my engine, but they don't belong in the newsroom. It is anchor man, not anchor lady, and that is a scientific fact. Uh huh? I don't know what we're yelling about. You're with us, Ron. What do you think? She, she, it's terrible. She has beautiful eyes, and her hair smells like cinnamon. Mm-hmm. Loud noises. All right, everyone relax. She's not going to take anyone's air time. I read somewhere that their periods attract bears. The bears can smell the menstruation. Well, that's just great. You hear that, Ed? Bears. Now you're putting the whole station in jeopardy. I will say one thing for her, Ed. She does have a nice big old behind. I like to put some barbecue sauce on that butt and just. Oh! Stop it! Oh, look at that full moon butt! Look at it! Mr. Harkin, I was just wondering if you knew when my office would be ready. Well, that might take some time. For now, why don't you just grab a desk in the bullpen? You can use my office, and afterwards, maybe we can go to lunch. Lower your voice, Ron. <laughs> well, thank you, Mr. Harkin. I'll go get my desk set up. Oh, she is a saucy mama. I mean, I want to... <sighs> Here we go again. Every station is the same. Women ask me how I put up with it. Well, the truth is, I don't really have a choice. This is definitely a man's world. But while they're laughing and grab-assing, I'm chasing down leads and practicing my non-regional diction. Because the only way to win is to be the best. The very best. <laughs>